South Korea's science ministry will soon be revealing where the country will build its next generation synchrotron radiation accelerator, crucial technology for the next phase of the country's biotech industry. The two final candidates are Daju in Jeollanam-do province and Cheongju in Chungcheongbuk-do province. Our Chang Taehyun explains. The Ministry of Science and ICT is poised to announce where the country's second fourth-generation synchrotron radiation accelerator will be built. Costing 820 million U.S. dollars, the facility can be used to harness electrons moving at high speeds to create energy and X-ray beams. It can also analyze superfine materials, a process that can be used in the development of new advanced materials, displays and semiconductors, fueling growth in South Korea's biotech and life science sectors. The accelerator can also be used to develop the treatment for swine flu, tummy flu, and a drug used to combat erectile dysfunction, Viagra. A synchrotron radiation accelerator is like a giant microscope. It analyzes the internal and external structures of the specimen. There are two synchrotron radiation accelerators in the city of Pohang, Gyeongsangbuk-do province, but the government wants to build another due to demand. As for the location, it's between Naju of Jeollanam-do province or Cheongju of Chungcheongbuk-do province. In Cheongju, solid bedrock provides an extra degree of geological safety and the city is close to Seoul. Also, there are many other bio-research facilities in close proximity. On the other hand, Naju city has stable landform and a soon-to-be open university nearby that could participate in joint research. This investment is expected to rake in nearly five and a half billion U.S. dollars worth of economic effect on production inducement. Chang Taehyun, Arirang News.